These are very exciting times. This is going to move very, very fast. Are you going to be able to keep up with all these changes? Hello, this week we will talk about how to optimize your SEO content for AI-based search engines. Now, this is very exciting for us at Optimum 7. And you know how everybody is talking about AI is coming, AI is coming. Well, AI is here. The next 6 to 12 months is going to be very interesting. OpenAI just launched their GPT-4 version, and it can process 500 times more than the previous version. And that was only in a couple of months. So Moore's law back in the 60s stated that we would double in computation power every two years. And this applies to any hardware or any software. But with AI, we just got 500 times more power in a couple of months. And there are thousands and thousands of tools and applications that are being built on this technology, on this specific framework. So just imagine the implications of this snowball effect to every single provider, every single API user, every single developer, every single company that's working on AI-based business, music, accounting, law, and political functionalities. But right now, we're just going to nerd out about SEO. Search engines have been using AI technology for a couple of years now. But again, the power of AI in terms of how much data it can process and sort through is multiplying every single day. So here are some tips to do SEO and optimize your content for AI-based search engines. One, focus on user intent. You have to understand the needs of your target audience. There are trillions of combinations of topics and keywords that you could actually rank for. But do you have the right topic that is targeted for your audience? Use long tail keywords and natural language to target that specific audience. Let me give you an example. If you want to rank for the keyword website speed optimization, go to Google, type website speed optimization and see what kind of results there are. If the majority of the results are service pages, then you have to write and optimize a service page. If the majority of the results are research guides, then you have to write a research guide. You can use a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs for the keyword research. We even also use SpyFu time to time. But don't just pay attention to the content that you're writing. Pay attention to the intent of that specific search term. When I type website speed optimization, it's very generic. I might be looking for information. If I type WordPress speed optimization, there are a ton of WordPress users. So you can't really determine if the intent is to buy or not. If I'm searching for big commerce or Shopify speed optimization, it means that I'm looking for e-commerce specific website optimization. So based on the search term, the headers and the subheaders will need to change. Two, you need high quality content. Don't just feed a topic to AI, get the output and publish that on your website. AI leaves a footprint. As a matter of fact, go to Google, type GPT-0, and that's a tool that can tell you if your content has been written by AI or not. Now, search engines already came out and said that they don't have any issues with AI content. But that doesn't mean that you should not optimize your content. What we do is we'll use an AI content creator, and one of our editors will take that and plug it into writer.com and clean the AI footprint from that specific copy. This is a very simple process. If you want to write better content with AI, for example, if you go to ChatGPT, it will write a content and the first paragraph will always be some generic lame paragraph. Tell ChatGPT to rewrite that first paragraph as if it was Jordan Peterson or as if it was an attorney or a doctor or a lawyer. Then tell ChatGPT to start with a statistic. Again, understand the intent and write good quality content. Three, optimize for semantic search. If you don't know what semantic search means, pause this video, go to Google search and find out because this is a very, very important terminology. Semantic search makes it easy for search engines to understand the context of your content, its structure and its intention. Again, this goes back to keyword research. Structure your content around the sub keywords that are related to that specific topic. If I'm talking about e-commerce speed optimization, 
I have to talk about the big platforms out there like BigCommerce, Shopify, WordPress, WooCommerce, 3D Cart, Miva. I have to mention those. This helps the search engines understand the relationship between the keywords and the topics and the subtopics that you choose in your content. It doesn't matter if you're writing a blog post or an article or a service page or a study guide or a buying guide. Semantic search applies to all of these types of content. Four, leverage structured data. You have to use schema markups to tell the search engines what type of content you have. This type of structured data helps the AI-based search engines to index and organize your content a lot faster and a lot better. And they prefer this type of content, so they are going to push your content up in the search engines because the whole concept of an AI-based search engine is efficiency. 5. Optimize for voice search. ChatGPT gave us a chat-based AI but we still have to type. The natural next level of a chat-based AI is voice-based AI, because then I'll be able to just say whatever I want and get an answer back. As a matter of fact, the new version of ChatGPT promises audio and video processing as well. So why would you not optimize your content for voice search? There are two ways to optimize your content for voice. One, use conversational language. You are not writing term papers. You're not writing a college essay. Use a conversational tone. Two, have an FAQ section. Answer common questions. Did you know that 75% of what's being typed into search engines are questions? And if you look at how the search results pages of Google have evolved in the past few years, the FAQs and the questions are a big part of it. Six, improve page speed and the mobile friendliness of your website. 99% of websites out there still load in over three seconds. So I type a website and I hit enter. And then we wait one, two, three. Your site has still not loaded. Four, five. How long would you wait as a user? If you go to optimum7.com and hit one, to, the site is already loaded. Every single page of your site should load like this. This is true for e-commerce. When I add an item to cart, how long does it take? Or how long does it take from the point that I add an item to cart to actually check out with my order? It should not be more than 60 seconds. Optimize images, minimize code and JavaScript files. Use lazy load and caching. Make your website load faster. Seven, use multimedia content. You must have images, video, and other multimedia content on your website. A multimedia content is something like a product configurator. Anything that you can help your users to find what they're looking for faster. An AI-based search and filter functionality on your e-commerce site is going to allow AI to rank you higher because you are already giving all those search results pages to the search engines. Functionality makes this possible. So anything you could do on your site to improve the user friendliness through functionality will help your SEO. Eight, focus on EAT. EAT stands for expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. AI-based search engines evaluate the quality of your content. You can establish your credibility and showcase your expertise by providing authoritative sources and build trust with users through transparency and consistent content. If you have a mention from Forbes.com, if you have a Wikipedia page, if you have a backlink from Shopify or BigCommerce, if you were mentioned on Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies in the United States, highlight this on your website. Put those banners and mention those authoritative sources. Nine, you have to engage in social media. Social signals are big for AI-based search engines. How many times do you search for something and you see YouTube results on the search results? You see Twitter, you see Facebook, you see LinkedIn. So if your content is on Google and on your website, it's cool. But if the same content is on five different social media platforms, what do you think that will do for your search results? What do you think that will do for your rankings? So what we do at Optimum 7 is when we post a blog post, there is going to be a video that's going to be uploaded to YouTube with the same title. Then we share it on LinkedIn and LinkedIn newsletter and posts. Then we share it on TikTok. And then we share it on Facebook, we tweet it, 
all of these mentions and links go back to the same source blog post content. So we're giving all the social signals that an AI-based search engine would look at. Go to Google and type how to market pet products. Go to Google and type how to migrate credit card tokens. Go to Google and type custom big commerce design. These are all very important keywords for us. We rank number one, not only on search engines, but we rank on YouTube. We rank on LinkedIn. So with this, we're addressing the EAT formula, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness, and social media helps us do that. Now I can keep going here. I can give you 10 other elements to help you optimize your SEO for AI-based search engines. These are very exciting times. This is going to move very, very fast. Are you going to be able to keep up with all these changes? That's it for this week. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos on e-commerce, custom development, marketing, and much more. And leave us a comment if you'd like to discuss the contents of this video further.